<laughs> well, this probably is one of the least glamorous jobs you'll see me do, but nonetheless it has to be done pretty regularly. White vinegar. Scrub brush water. algae just grows every day, drives you crazy, it just, in Florida it just never stops with the green algae, so we use some good old vinegar and water and scrub it all off and then we do it again when it grows back again. But the ducks really like clean water. Nice and clean, ready for the ducks. Here's the queen on this morning. Basically what happens every morning and every evening. All set. Ready for the ducks. Go ahead girl, it's okay. Poppy's going through a molting stage at the moment. So she's not laying eggs and her feathers are all falling out. She looks all kind of moth-eaten. We've been through it with the chickens before. See what they do when they throw mealworms in there. Here, look, girls. There you go. Mmm, mealworms. You scared of the clean water? <laughs> there we go. They actually use these pine pellets, which are traditionally for horse bedding. But the reason we use them is because they smell so much less than traditional cat litter. They cost so much less because you need so much less. They break down when they get heat on. So these pellets that are left, we can save for the next load. And they're really easy, as you can see, to clean out. I mean, obviously, if I had one of those sifter trays, this would be a lot easier. Just haven't got round to making one of those yet to make life easier, but we will. Sorry for the bad filming, but it's hard to film yourself and do the job at the same time. I'm multitasking. I need a cameraman or woman. <laughs> and unfortunately, I haven't been able to teach Zoe how to do that yet. So we just had a fundraiser that was run for us last week by a group and this was one of the items that was donated to us um, through that fundraiser and they've never had this before so I'm going to add some to their feed and put a little bit in their coop but it's really cool stuff mealworms, wheat berries, rose petals, basil and bee pollen so it's like a, a non-GMO company but it looks really good I mean I'd like it, I guess, if I was a chicken. 
So we're going to give that a try and see, see what they think of it and just add it to their feed. So I added some to their feed. It smells amazing actually because it has the rose petals and you can really smell them and the bee pollen. next to the chickens. Oh, apparently that looks pretty interesting. What do you think girls? Yeah, it's good, huh? Let Dolly have some too. Yeah. I guess it's a hit. <laughs> I know. Everybody's eating together, huh? Is that yummy? Oh. <laughs> Chickens. Lucy. Let me such a pig. Let Dolly have some. Hey, let Dolly have some. <laughs> let Dolly try it too. are funny. We just got another parcel come in from our fundraiser from the wonderful group that ran it for us last week. And what do we got? Wow, Dusty is going to be so happy. These are Dusty's favourite. And I just put a new one up today and it was our last one, funnily enough. And actually he's actually over there right now with it. These are awesome. These are a solid Himalayan salt block on a rope and they just love these. They lick them until they fall off the rope basically. Really, really good minerals for them. Oh, so grateful for those. Have you got the zoomies? Have you got the zoomies? I get that girl. You gonna go for the rides? Wanna go for the rides though? Oh yes, go for the rides. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Are you ready to go? Can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, she's good. You ready to go for the rides? Are you smiling? Are you happy about going for the rides? Sit down then. Sit. No. <laughs> so that's silly. You good girl. I'm just about to go for a ride. This is the ranch mule. This is not ours, sadly. We absolutely love this thing and we hope one day that we'll have one. Come on, sir. Go load up. Load up, sir. Go load up. Good girl. She's learning to be a ranch dog. You ready, Zoe? Ready to go for the rides? And we've actually got some dry ground to drive on. Okay, let's go. Cool.
has come out this evening to do our favourite drive. It's so gorgeous this time of night, just after feeding time, before it gets dark. This is the sun just starts to go down. It's beautiful out here. This is the other bull. His name is Mo. LCF and Mo. He's a big boy. We've got an audience. Where's my other friend? Something's making a screeching sound over there. That's the grove. Oh, I love this little baby one walking towards us. Oh, is that your mom? Is that your mama? Oh. So cute. Hi, baby. So he's watching. He says it's over here. Don't tell everybody. Yeah, dummy. Go try it. She wants someone else to try it first in case it's poisoned. We're just going through one of the groves now. The all oranges. Yeah, that one didn't get picked. Huh. Wow, there's still oranges on that one. seeing what we see sometimes there's pigs or deer in the groves I mean obviously we've got obviously quite a loud we've got quite a loud machine right now too so I don't know whether we'll see anything but you never